Hey everyone, Jeff here again. So, a little update on my eBay cave here. I'm kind of switching out my photo area. I'm going to go... I originally had a four foot table that came this direction and was only about this high. It stuck out a little too far to be really useful. I couldn't get, get around it very well, plus it was a little bit short. I didn't really like it. This kind of temporary. I believe you may have saw that in a past video. If not, it'll probably be coming soon. Uh, these might not go out in order at all. But I'm working on putting up a little bit more permanent station. I've got this table here, which I actually pulled out of my other, the other side of, of the basement. So I could put in some storage shelving over there for our personal items. And it's a very nice height. The problem is it's very, very ugly. So I'm going to attach this to the wall in this area here. And then I'm going to be putting these panels, one of them behind it then one of them on top of it. Now, this originally I had designed for that long table, so I may need to either cut it or I might have to get a different piece. And it's not holding up as well as I was hoping to. It's holding up pretty well. I don't know if, how well you guys can see that. Uh, not at all, but it's kind of getting scuffed up a little bit. And when I rub it, it does kind of come clean, so I'm probably still going to go with this, at least for the time being. For the backdrop for behind, it's going to work perfectly. But for replacing up here, maybe not as much. I've also kind of changed around how I have things set up down here. Remember I was having the issue where I couldn't really have my shelves how I wanted them because of my furnace? Well, pretty much what that ended up being is I got stuck in my head of things had to be a certain way. And it wasn't until I kind of had a well, duh, if we change it this way, it's going to be just as good, if not better. But I was so set in how in my brain I had visioned down here that I couldn't see it for a long time. I've kind of went into having these aisles. So these two here used to go this way. Then I had a bar which I couldn't really move them as a water pipe. But I brought them this way instead. Now I have basically a U-shaped area here, which is going to be primarily going to be eBay. Then I have another area over here, where on this side is going to be pack, mostly packing supplies, and then also maybe some Amazon FBM. I'm doing a little bit of that, not a lot, now that they've opened back up. If you didn't know they opened back up, they have, so you can send yourself in again. I was a little late on that. They are limiting the quantities of some items a little bit. I have some things I used to be able to send 15, 20 at a time in. And now they let me send like four or five. So if you make your your shipment, it gives you there's an unknown exception. This item must be removed, and you have more than one of it. Just slowly walk that number down. And eventually, they'll probably let you ship it. That means they're giving you a quantity limit. I also put in that bookshelf over here. That's gonna be for my FBM books. Pretty much if it's for books, I'm not gonna be sending anything in that's under seven hundred fifty thousand rank anymore. I'm going to be doing them myself. They just they sit too long, they hurt your metrics. And of course I do have my shipping supplies area. Still pretty good. Then over back, I'm at my photo booth here, then I have these two shelves over here. Now ideally this is going to be the point where I might just have shipping supplies over here and then Back here, the one I says gonna be Amazon. That might be, that may be Amazon. This might be shipping supplies or vice versa. Then my idea is my new inventory is gonna be only on here. Stuff needs to be processed. Stuff needs to be right next to the photo area. New merchandise comes in, goes in this shelf, goes here, gets photographed, gets gets listed, and get put over here in my storage area, either for eBay or for Amazon. So, it is coming along. Still a little bit of work. I'm going to probably do a few more steps here, then I might come back and show you the finished project. Maybe I'll show you where I was. Now, I'm in the basement, and luckily this right here is already installed, which makes this job a lot easier. If not, if you don't want to go into concrete walls like this, all this is a couple 2x4s coming down off of the floorboards from above, and they put a piece of plywood across it. 
very, very handy if you can't drill into your walls or you don't want to drill into your walls. I'm going to be putting my backer up there. I'm going to be putting it in permanently this time so that way it's not going to fall. That's one problem I was having with my temporary set before. Is that back panel be up here? I'd bump the table. <laughs> yeah, I get bonked on the head a few times. So this is going to be good. Let's see how it turns out. It's a little prog. All right, so a little progress update here. You know those pipes that were bothering me earlier? Yeah, it got me again. So, previously, with when this table is lower, my backdrop was the perfect height where it fit just underneath of that. Some reason, when I decided to go with a higher table, my brain never thought, oh, now that pipe's going to be in the way. So, the only way to really get around that pipe is to go basically over it. So that means I had to put some just junk boards on here to bring it out where I can screw my backdrop on a little bit. So now when I put it up, that pipe is going to be behind it. Now another option would be to cut it. But if I cut it, if I'm doing like clothing, the problem is that I was going to be too short. Or I wasn't going to be able to get that good crisp white background. It was going to be very difficult because I'm just a little bit too short for some things. Like if I put like a mannequin torso up, it'd just be, for most things it would have been fine. But if I'm selling like a bigger winter jacket, I'm going to do like a wall hang out of it. It just was not going to work. So I went out to the shed, found a couple scrap boards. It's always good to keep scrap boards when you do projects. And I put them on the edges here. Now when I put that up, we're going to screw it into here. Get done with that, we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I got this, this back wall here screwed in place pretty good. Now you will be able to notice right now the two screws that I used as well as my hanger screw up there. Now I'm going to touch these up with white paint so they shouldn't be in view. The few time, most of the time, almost all my photos are going to be down here. You won't ever see them. And a few times you will, just cover them with a little bit of white paint. They won't stand out enough to really be noticed. Or if they are, it's going to be so minor that it's not going to really be an issue. So, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I have to wait till tomorrow because I don't, I can't find my paint. I have some white paint I bought for this, but I have no idea where it is. So, I'm just going to buy more. I think it's going to be easier unless I do find it. I'll touch up those. And then we're going to get going on covering up this because that is not really the best for photos. All right. Catch you later. All right, so here it is, the final of the completed fo new photo area. I'm going to put some storage down underneath there. Not sure what, either boxes or maybe f photography stuff, don't know. I did get those painted. They are a little bit noticeable, but they're not too bad. They show up a little more on video than they do on photos. Plus how little I'm going to actually have those in a photo won't really matter. So most of the photos will probably be between them. Maybe I can even do something like that. Now for the base, to cover up this ugly table, see how ugly this thing is. I don't, didn't have a board that was cut to the right size. I don't have a table saw right now. And I'd have to get another board about that size, then I have to make two cuts to it. So at least for now I'm going to try out, I just got one of these uh, cardboard um, like little trifold things that you get, you put under, like you use for like a science school science fair. It's at the dollar store. I give that a shot for a little while. It does look pretty decent when I'm actually taking the photos. That's also something you can do if you don't have the room for a setup like this. You can just go get these cardboard pieces, and they even fold. It's using a ballast to keep it flat. Yeah. So you can put like this, for smalls, you can put something like this just up against a wall. Put your item here, take your photo going that way. You got your nice little white backdrop. Lighting does help. Or you can even stand it up. You know, you put this in the ground, this part up. If you have taller items. I just a little bit larger one of these is what I was using previously before I moved to my new place. So you know, you don't need as fancy a setup as this. Well, <laughs> fancy is kind of, you know, put together with spit and bailer twine, as my grandpa would say. 
I do really like this. It's a little taller work area, a little bit shorter. So, you know, my previous one was only about this tall and it came out to about here. It just, it wasn't very easy to use or navigate around. And got my little light boxes. They're nothing fancy. They're like $30 special from, I think I bought those either on eBay or Amazon. I don't remember. They're about 30, 35 bucks. The photos look a lot better than this video does. This video looks a little bit dark. Right, for smalls, I can have my tape over here. I can have the packaging, the tape measure. I can have my, my scale. I can put a small item down, like this calculator. I can put it down, I can go photo, photo, start listing on my phone, put it in the package, get the weight, enter that into the listing, I'm good to go. Now I usually will finish it upstairs on my actual computer. You, just, you see more options available than on the computer than you do on mobile. So I always finish on the computer. Then I'll also print off my individual item skew. Let's see, do I have one handy here? So it'd be something like that, and I'll put that in the packaging. That way I know what's in it. I don't seal them, unless they're boxes, because tape is cheap. But generally I don't seal the actual, like, you know, poly bags. Just in case this will be a dud item. Them not out the poly bag, pop that item out, get rid of it, take the poly bag, put a new item in it, just cover up, you know, the skew, and you're good to go. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I used it the other night, and usually I struggle to get five listings done, just because I didn't have a good setup. I pounded out like 15 in the same amount of time, and it was a lot easier. That was a struggle. So once again, there's the eBay side. There's my packaging. Amazon and mostly Amazon and unlisted inventory. That unlisted inventory over here. I'm working it down. I'm getting there. So what are you guys doing for your photo setup? Tell me down below. Do you have room for something like this? Because before I moved, this would not have been even possible. I used to, in my kitchen, every day, I'd have these completely collapsed. Every, every single day, I'd pull these out, set them up, take my big piece of cardboard, lay it on the floor, do the best I could with the photos in the limited space. It's always really difficult to even get positioned properly. But this one is just so much easier and faster. If you're starting to really get take off, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get yourself room, dedicated workspace to work. It's just it's game changing. So, so the reason I went with the cardboard instead of originally I was using the whiteboard. If you remember seeing it a little bit ago, I'm not sure how well it showed up on on the camera, but this was getting really dirty. If I scrubbed, I was able to get it clean, but it was just still kind of a pain to scrub and clean. What I'm thinking is, if the surface is getting it damaged, I might also use something cheap and replaceable. And so far, it has been looking pretty nice. I have taken some photos on it, and it's just, it's working. At least for now. You know, maybe down the road, I'm going to get, you know, I'll cut a piece of this. So I get a little bit more uniformity. I might even be able to get that seam back here a little bit better. Like put some putty down so there's no space at all. But for now, you'd be surprised. Like I'm looking on the camera here. That's the seam is not even easy to see. In person, that looks horrible. But on camera, you barely see it. So remember, you set up your photo area. It's not only what it looks like to your eye, it's what it looks like to your camera. And even like right now in this video camera, this doesn't look the same as it does when I'm taking photos with my settings just how I need them to really rock the settings. Make the photos just pop. 
Now, I'm using an older Samsung phone, and I swipe either left or right. I don't remember. Just play around with it, and you'll see something called Pro Mode. Once you get into Pro Mode, you can adjust like the aperture, the white balance, the shutter speed, and stuff like that, and you can really get that photo to look just how you want it. So the settings will match the lights you have. For me, I'm about 5K bulbs, so that's what I set it for. And also the aperture, speed, everything like that. You just tweak them a little bit. It's a little bit here. Then it goes either too dark to the light. Then you go either go back. Then you go to the next one. You just got to find that sweet medium of where the settings are. If you're using like a real camera, which I might be doing here shortly. I did purchase one. It's an older camera. But I got this for eight bucks at my local thrift store. It's an older, you know, Canon Rebel. Decent lens on it. I don't know if I'm gonna like doing this. I think I'll get better quality photos out of this versus my phone. I'm gonna monkey around with it for probably about a week or two, just only gonna be using the camera. Just to see if I like it. And if I like it enough, and I know it's enough quality difference and easy use, I might switch to that permanently versus my phone. And I can get some, even though my phone is pretty old, it's a Galaxy S7. Yeah, I'm, I have absolutely found zero reason to upgrade. Not one. You tell me a recent upgrade, put it below, and maybe I'll upgrade. If you can convince me. I don't know. It does everything I need. I've not found a single issue that it has. Well, it has one minor issue. The battery does drain a little faster than I would like. That's it. I'm actually going to get the battery replaced, then that will be gone. Versus spending hundreds, actually now they're like, new phone, cell phones are like $1,000. I just, it's got to be the thrifter in me. I can't spend that money on something that I see no value in. Just like I can't go out and buy a $1,000, $2,000 camera, but if I find a nice looking one at, let's get focus in there, at the thrift store, for eight dollars <laughs> that's more my speed i don't pay full price for anything if you're buying new and paying full price i call that the sucker tax so the model of this one let's see if i can even find it on here eos digital rebel xt and looking at it i would say i did find the date on it earlier it was a mid 2000s model so it's not ancient technology at all See, it's the, yeah, I don't know the exact model, if there is an exact model. Maybe if I find it, I'll put it in there. Oh, here we go. Rebel XT EOS 350D. And here's the great thing about it. If I don't like this camera, I did check comps on it, and I can make a decent amount of money on it. So I can try it, see if I like it. If I like the process, but I don't like the camera... I may upgrade the camera to, you know, not one of the super high ends. But I may upgrade the, to a nicer camera if I find I like the process. This is a good way to test the process of using the actual camera. So what do you guys use for photos? Let me know.